am home and I'm hungry. How about that? So I decided to fry some chicken, make some rice and some green beans. Something simple, but it's every southern household's favorite meal, let's say, or a regular. Let's call it that. Because I remember having fried chicken, green beans, and some rice and butter, or some rice and gravy. Mmm, a lot. I really miss that. Home cooking. So let's get started. I have my chicken wings because I haven't had those in a long time. And I have been finding my chicken at El Super and El Cheapo. So like I said, you guys, check out El Super if you're in Las Vegas. Comment down below if there's an El Super somewhere in another town that I don't know of. And let me know if y'all find cheap meat there too. So I'm going to finish rinsing this and then we'll talk about seasoning. Okie dokie. So I have my chicken. Do you guys do this to your chicken? Do y'all fold that leg back? Let me know. Comment down below if you fold your chicken leg back. Well, that is something that I used to see my mama do because she used to say when you put it down in the grease they'll fry that way instead of being all like this in your frying pan and you trying to get all the pieces done they'll lay down the right way Ooh, did you see my face they'll lay down the right way in um, the grease Okay, so while I'm getting this chicken done, let's talk about what's been going on in my life. Okay? First of all, I'm really over these people that I keep running into at work. It be the older ones that are the worst, though. Okay? Number one, if you drive... A rotor rooter scooter thing y'all know what I'm talking about okay if you're at the age that you need that scooter thing that means you need a caretaker a caretaker that's what that's just how I feel you need a caretaker okay because that caretaker is still able to walk around the store, has mobility, that they can get around the store. They can get everything that you need. All you had to do was make a list and sit there and watch prices right until she got back home. Okay? That's just how I feel. You can just sit at home. Tell your caretaker, Sheila. I said it before, Keisha, one of them, to get your stuff or whatnot. Because they coming in, they be so rude and angry, and they want to talk mess to you. And then they get mad when you snap back at their ass. Because I snap back at them and really don't give two fucks how they feel about the situation. Just real talk. We're just real talking. I know you're supposed to respect your elders. Y'all don't come for me in the comments talking about I'm not respecting my elders and I'm being mean and all this other stuff. I don't even want to hear that customer service shit. I don't want to hear it. Okay? I'm just letting you know I don't want to hear it. Because some of them people you would think, I would think, that if they are born and raised in, in the 60s, the 50s, the 60s, even the fucking 70s. Oh, y'all, let me go ahead and show you. I'm going to put some lemon pepper on my chicken because I'm trying to lay off the salt. So this is my way of getting salt is lemon pepper. Anyway, yep, lemon pepper. Lemon pepper, my wings. Anyway, these people come in there, you would think in that day and age of life and era of life, that they learned about respect because they had to show a lot of respect to other races. Okay. Anybody, really. People in general. But other races more highly because of your race. 
Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Do y'all hear what I'm saying? Okay? Then on top of that, they come in there talking about, give me. Who? Who who the fuck? Who the fuck is Gimme? Y'all know that little saying, Gimme got shot? Okay. Gimme got shot. I don't know Gimme. And you ain't even talk to me like that. Who the fuck is Gimme? So I'll check the ass real quick. Don't say Gimme. You don't even have to say may I have. You you can throw let me let me get. You can say gimme that please. Or whatnot, but at the end of the day, show a little fucking respect. Show a little respect. Cause it's ridiculous, y'all, how y'all act me. You wanna turn the shit back around and be like customer fucking service. That's what be killing me. Y'all need to be at work. You got a whole attitude. Yeah, bitch, you just met you gave me the fucking attitude. You gave me the attitude. Y'all, I'm just pouring stuff. Okay, I got some soul food seasoning and I got some Cajun seasoning. So at the end of the day, I'm trying to stay here too and wonder if I'm finna kind of lightly flour batter my chicken or if I'm just gonna go with the seasoning because my um baby daddy sister used to just season her meat like this and then she would uh fry it just with the seasoning. Let the skin be the skin. But I was thinking about the flour because I'm from the country. And that's what my daddy and my mama used to do. They used to put a little bit of flour on it so you have a little bit of crunch. Y'all see my hair? <laughs> I, I can't wait to drop that video to show y'all what the hell I did. I was going to say, do I even have any flour? Can y'all see me? <laughs> So I actually have some. So I'm going to get me a bowl that cost is just washed and put me a little bit of flour in it. So I can go ahead and drop this chicken flour in this grease. Anyway, you guys, see how I got it? Chicken flour. Anyway, you guys, that shit has been pissing me off at work. For real, for real. Like, for real, for real, for real. These people and they mouth. And then they want to get attitude about my mouth when I snap back at them. Well, don't snap at me. Okay? Another thing. Number two. Okay? I don't, don't come up to the counter once again throwing your basket up there. Y'all know the little handheld carts that you walk through the store with. If there's not a actual shopping cart, you use a basket, a handheld basket, okay, in some stores. Well, these people will come up there and throw the, ba the basket up on the counter and slide it towards me. Y'all, I slide the motherfucker right back. How about that? Yep, I sure do. I will slide it right back. You don't do that shit at Walmart, do you? You don't do it at Smith's. Period, Pooh. That's what Aaron just said. So don't come to my store fucking with me, doing it to me. And then look at me like I'm crazy when I, I say something. Or I slide the basket back to you. Okay? So anyway, I just had to chat with you real quick because I was a little frustrated today about these people that I keep coming in contact with that's making my blood pressure high than a motherfucker because they want to do stupid shit then look at you crazy like you did it. Bitch, I didn't do it. You did it. Shit. Anyway, let me finish frying this chicken. I'll see y'all in a minute. Huh? It's always got to be one of them things that's just got to pop that wing out, that leg out. 
but yep, I wanted some fried chicken. And this is what it looks like. Okay, you guys, my chicken is browning, so I'm going to leave that on that side. I'm going to put some green beans on and cut some small potatoes on top of it. And we're going to let that steam for a minute. And I have my rice going. Hey, go rice, go dinner, go dinner, go dinner, 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 dinner. So you guys, this is what dinner ended up looking like. We have a um, bed of couscous with homemade macaroni and cheese and potatoes over some spring fresh greens and some southern fried chicken. So you guys, dinner is served. Woo!